The Credit River is home to one of Ontario's best salmon and trout fisheries. The river has wild steelhead, brown trout, brook trout, smallmouth bass, and runs of Chinook, Coho, and Atlantic salmon. Here, steelhead are seen jumping at the Streetsville Dam. Salmon and trout must pass all the dams to reach their spawning grounds located further up the river. Volunteers from the Credit River Anglers Association, one of Ontario's largest conservation groups, operate fish ladders in partnership with the MNR to help the fish up the river. Every spring and fall, volunteers contribute thousands of hours by lifting the salmon and trout through the ladders. Each fish is checked for sex, length, and then checked for fin clips, a sign of hatchery origin. Wild fish are tagged and then placed into waiting transfer tanks used to transport the adult steelhead past dams and other barriers and placed directly into their spawning streams. The adult transfer program is required to move fish around barriers that have no fish ladders. Detailed data is also recorded for every fish handled. This data assists fisheries managers with estimating population size, fish health, and growth rates. Each tag has an individual number as well as CRAW's website so anglers can report the, any fish caught in the future. Every summer, dozens of tagged steelhead are caught throughout Lake Ontario as far away as Rochester and Pulaski. Craw volunteers, working under MNR approval, also collect eggs from the various species to be placed into the craw hatchery. Eggs are stripped from ripe females and placed into holding trays where they are fertilized. The fish are not harmed by the process and are released back to the river after the egg collection. volunteers transfer between 800 and 2,000 adult steelhead every year, as well as brown trout and Atlantic salmon. Once the transfer tank is full of fish, the trailer is driven 30 minutes north to the cold water tributaries where the trout can successfully reproduce. Each tank can move 60 adult trout weighing 5 to 18 pounds. On a busy night, volunteers will transfer over 250 fish. Inside the tank, pressurized oxygen is pumped into the water through air stones to keep the fish alive. Once at the release site, Volunteers net the fish from the tanks and release them to the Destination River, a tributary of the credit. Fish transferred with oxygen are full of energy and easily released.
once in the stream, the fish quickly acclimatize to the river and take up holding positions. Within minutes, the fish begin to disperse upstream to begin pairing up and selecting suitable spawning grounds. Some fish are ripe when transferred and will spawn within days, whereas some steelhead moved in the fall will stay in the river and not spawn until the following spring. Fish with two and even three tags are also common. The fish here with two tags was transferred in two consecutive years. This steelhead was transferred to the same area last year, spawned, and left the Credit River, and after a year in Lake Ontario has come back and was transported a second time. When fish are physically ready to spawn, they pair up and the female begins to dig a red or nest to place her eggs in. Salmon and trout choose riffles with clean gravel. Once a nest is prepared, the female will deposit a few hundred eggs and the male will move in to fertilize them. The female will then cover the eggs with gravel and repeat the process until all her eggs are laid. Salmon and trout carry between 3,000 and 10,000 eggs, so the spawning process often takes one to two days. Once in the gravel, the eggs slowly develop. These steelhead eggs will take about eight weeks to hatch. When they do, tiny fry will swim up out of the gravel and begin a new life cycle where they will live in the stream for one to three years before heading back to Lake Ontario to become adults and repeat the process. The transfer program has been incredibly successful and the credit steelhead run is now 86% wild and over 20,000 fish, up from less than 3,000 a decade ago. Anglers are encouraged to join Craw. Membership is only $10 and your volunteer time is important to maintaining and improving the fishery. Wait for me Wait for me